Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to continue to concentrate on the latest on the incredibly hot weather we're now starting to see across many parts of the British Isles that's going to peak on Friday could continue into Saturday for some areas in the southeast seeing temperatures into the mid 30s potentially and more widely in around that 30 to 32 range for England and Wales. We'll also start to have a look at the potential for some thundery weather as well some very heavy rain maybe into the weekend as with all this energy around with this intense air mass it's very hot air mass coming up from the south as it breaks down there could be some big big storms or regardless of storm activity could be some very heavy rain around um, as well so we'll start to have a look at that as that is starting to come into the shorter term um, time frame but there is so much uncertainty as I will highlight when we have a look at the short range models in a minute we'll have a look at the UK Met Office run the icon run and we'll compare them and see how only in sort of a three or four day time frame they do have very very different temperatures and precipitation values for Saturday We'll also finish the video but just have a look at the mid to longer range as well, seeing whether we could see any more warmth or proper heat as we head into the second half of June. So, do remember, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you like and subscribe, and uh, remember to follow me on Twitter as well, the link's in the description. So, if we do start on the live radar, we do have the first sort of hot weather today, really. It's been warm the last couple of days, but real hot weather is starting to take over for some areas in England and Wales. And when I mean hot weather, I mean mid to high 20s. We're seeing 26 to 28 degrees in some regions today, and that could bump up to 30 degrees by tomorrow. And as I said, 35, maybe 36 degrees come Friday. Now, this hot weather is mostly across England and Wales. For parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland, yes, it's dry for most at the moment. But there's cloud around, cooler air mass and some precipitation is moving in from the west. Now, where this very hot air mass collides with much cooler air mass across in the near Atlantic, we are going to see weather fronts. We're going to be seeing some precipitation in thicker cloud, and that is what we're seeing now over parts of Scotland and Ireland. Now, it is going to pep up over the next couple of days. So some areas in Western Scotland, parts of Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland are going to be asking, what is this sort of hot weather that um, people are talking about in England and Wales? We're not seeing it at all there. And unfortunately, it's just that, that's just where the boundary is going to be between the very hot air and the cooler milder air in the Atlantic. So we are seeing precipitation there and it's likely to pep up over the coming sort of couple of days. It could be quite miserable there while areas a few hundred miles to the south and east bask in the hot summer sunshine. Now if you do look at the temperatures, as I said, it is starting to hot up and you can see that across parts of England and Wales today. These darker reds, hottest conditions we're going to be seeing of the year so far could be could reach that today we'll definitely reach it tomorrow and of course on friday as well getting up towards the mid to high 20s quite widely you can see we're calling this around half two so we are starting to reach the peach temperatures of the day and you can see across the midlands into central southern england even to parts of southwest along the south coast it's very very hot indeed getting up and towards that mid to high 20 range um, and you can see across the near continent in france we're starting to see the mid to high 30s being reached these pink colors showing mid to high 30s uh could even be seeing 40 degrees here very very possible over the coming days and you can see again across northern parts of spain and even central southern spain incredibly hot getting up towards that 40 degree range and this is the air mass that is heading towards us at the moment this air is pumping northwards towards our island or our islands so if we do now have a look at the uk met office run see what that is showing over the next five days we're going to be seeing massive contrasts between the models now over the next sort of three days they do agree mostly but it's as we head towards friday evening into saturdays where we do see some massive massive deviations now as i said we've got that weather front in the west and it's going to pep up uh overnight tonight it's going to die down a little bit but as we head into thursday afternoon and Friday, you can see increased precipitation start to move in as we do see the very warm air head up from the south. Does look like there's going to be a lot of fair weather cloud around. 
high level cloud through Thursday as that hot air mass starts to arrive and you can see very heavy rain across parts of western Scotland. Northern Ireland and Republic of Ireland could miss out, it could just veer to the north, but very heavy rain across Scotland, uh, pretty miserable conditions there. Um, and as we head through Friday that heavy rain continues for starting to sweep further southwards and eastwards with thicker cloud as that warmer air mass starts to start to peel away for Friday evening. Now with that precipitation just sort of drop away um, but when it collides with that very hot air we're starting to see rain sort of pep up and this is where we've got big uncertainty some of this could turn very heavy and thundery and what the UK Met Office run does is produce a big mass of incredibly heavy thundery rain through Sunday morning into Sunday evening spreading northwards um, and we could see some big thunderstorms and regardless of lightning activity will be incredibly heavy torrential rain so we could be seeing issues for rainfall from this um, because you can see it's a big mass of rain but it all depends on the air mass as, I've, as I keep alluding to we could see some very heavy rain if that hot air mass remains, but if it moves very much faster, like we see with the icon, we'll be in this much fresher air just to our north with much less of this energy, and that's all the way in towards Europe. And the reason why we're seeing that, because if we do look at the upper air temperatures, you can see it's warming up at the moment, um, and as we head into Thursday, getting even hotter, 15 degrees hours firming up from the south, and by Friday, where we see the peak temperatures look incredibly hot in the far south. Uh, and southeast, getting up towards the low 20s for 850 HPA uh, temperatures. Um, and remember, the, t the temperature record at 850 HPA, we don't have a lot of data, but our known records are at 25 degrees, and we rarely break 20 degrees. 20 degrees is incredibly hot, and we're seeing that quite widely across England, Wales. Um, so, uh, and again, some models have it potentially get up to towards 23, 24. And as we head into Saturday, you can see the much cooler Atlantic air, zero degrees at 850 HPA. And you can see 23 degrees in the far southeast. And into Saturday afternoon, you can see maybe 23, 24 degrees right in the far southeast. And this temperature contrast is what's fueling all this precipitation. And that's why, as we head into Sunday, there's warm air lingering about, cooler Atlantic air mixing in with it. And that's why we're seeing these big heavy showers, um, and big bands of heavy torrential rain and thundery weather. But if we do just have a look at the temperatures uh, as well, what, see what they're showing today. Um, now, if we do run through to this afternoon, you can see widely mid 20s, 24 to 26 degrees. As I said, most likely will peak in around that 27, 28 degree range. Further northwards, more towards mid to high teens. It is warming up for all areas, but mostly in that England, Wales, and big parts of Southern Ireland, um, Southern Eastern Ireland, and Southern Scotland as well. As we head into tomorrow, you can see by sort of 10, 11 a.m., it's into the low 20s, mid 20s for some already. And by the afternoon, we could see those temperatures peak again around that 27, 28 degree range. And in a few spots, 29 or 30 degrees is possible. Of course, Republic of Ireland and Scotland looking more around that 20 degree mark, a couple of degrees either side. So warmer than it has been recently, but not incredibly warm. Um, uh, but yeah. Biggest temperatures are going to be in central southern England. And as we head into Friday, you can see these reds starting to appear. And around 10 a.m., um, you can see already 25 or 9 a.m., 25 to 27 degrees by midday, low 30s. And by 3 p.m., peak temperatures of the day, widely across England, 30 to 35 degrees. And as, as I said before, the temperature record for June is 35.6 degrees. So we're very likely to get within a degree or two of that. And there is the potential, I did say in a couple in the last few videos, I'd give it about a 10 or 20% chance that we do break 36 degrees, or at least break 35.6 degrees, which is the June temperature record. Now, it is very difficult to say just simply because other models are only showing it 30 32, 33 degrees. So I do think it's highly likely we get to that 33 to 35 degree range, but whether we do break the 35 degree bit at a sort of 35 degree ceiling and get towards 36, maybe edge higher than that, that is where we have massive, massive uncertainty. But regardless, it's going to be incredibly hot, incredibly high UV levels, so please do stay safe out there, stay hydrated and have sun cream on. As we head into Saturday, you can see it could still be incredibly hot in the far south. 30 degrees still possible, but across the Midlands into Yorkshire and parts of Wales, only 10 to 15 degrees with precipitation and cloud building in. And you can see that incredibly hot air mass just to our south is producing 40 to 42 degrees across parts of northern France. And this is what I've said in the last few videos. If we did hold on to this air mass for another day or two, 
I wouldn't be surprised if we threatened our all-time temperature record, uh, getting into the 38, 39 degree range, and, you know, could be breaking 40 degrees. It is unlikely, um, but we're heading towards peak UV levels for the, for the year, so peak solar activity uh, in terms of sun strength. We've got the longest day coming up, an incredibly hot air mass. This would be sort of the perfect storm, really, for 40 degrees. But we're only seeing this air mass last for about 24 to 48 hours before clearing back to our south and our east. So, yeah, we're not going to be seeing 40 degrees, but perhaps across parts of France it could be incredibly hot through Saturday and into Sunday. Still very hot across France, but reducing towards the mid-20s once again. And across central southern England could be 25 degrees. We still hold on to milder air masses, um, but we do have that precipitation uh, and cloud moving in, heavy rain and maybe thunderstorms. Now, if we do have a look at the icon run, uh, and just show what precipitation is showing, and we'll just uh, briefly relate it to temperature as well. So, you can see that precipitation moving into the far uh, west and northwest over the next couple of days. Um, but then, as we head towards Friday, it does move slightly further south and eastwards, peters out, and every Saturday into Sunday, we do see that heavy rain. Not quite as heavy as the UK Met Office run making it out to be, and it does clear to our south and east very quickly. We go into an Atlantic weather system for Monday. Now, the reason why that's happening is because if we have a look at the max temperatures, you see Friday, incredibly hot, 30 to 33 degrees, maybe uh, a couple of degrees cooler than the UK Met Office run is making it out to be. Um, that's why they've said there's uncertainty with those exact max temperatures. But by Saturday afternoon, where the UK Met Office run is holding on to 30 degrees in the far southeast, it's widely 15 to 20 degrees, maybe peaking 21 degrees, and that's because that hot air mass gets swept away much, much faster with all that energy that would fuel the showers, the storms, the torrential rain. That's all into Europe now. So we're not going to be seeing um, that heavy rain. So that's why Saturday there is so much, so much uncertainty um, with the temperatures, not only temperatures, but with the rain as well there's going to be some rain there's going to be thicker cloud around inevitably as this air mass moves away but it's how heavy it does get and it's just simply how quickly this air mass does move away and i think it will be sort of nailed down over the next day or two but not many people are talking about this yet because there's just so much uncertainty so there's the potential for major thunderstorms as we head into saturday there's potential for some very torrential rain absolute washouts for some through saturday into sunday but we don't have um, really any concrete idea exactly how it will play out. It could be just a bit of rain, maybe a few heavy showers that move away quickly, or we could see very persistent, horrible conditions through Saturday into Sunday. So if we do now have a look at the mid to long range, uh, just have a look at the EGFS and the ensembles just to finish the video, see what we're going to have over the next couple of weeks. Because, of course, it's good to stay um, in, in touch with what we're happening over the next couple of weeks. Because, of course, there could be more thundery weather. There could be more very hot weather coming up or just warmer weather, which I think a lot of people would prefer. So sort of that low 20s mark, um, we could be seeing quite a lot of that over the next couple of weeks. So if we do run through. You can see that very uh, big high pressure system to our east, drawing up that very hot air before the Atlantic systems take over. It doesn't really fully take it over, but it does go briefly westerly, and we've got high pressure. It was all high, sort of moves slightly further northwards, and we have a westerly flow. We're still generally under higher pressure, so it's dry-ish. There's going to be showers around, but it's dry-ish with the precipitation most likely further northwards, uh, and maybe eastwards as well. We do see a bit more of a northerly flow, though. We could see a lot of showers with that. We're not directly under low pressure, so not massive showers, not massive big weather systems, but... Nonetheless, cloud showers will be around and it will be much cooler than it is over the next couple of days, including today. Temperatures still most likely will be pretty decent into the low 20s for some, especially further southwards and westwards under the dry conditions with more sunshine. It's Remember, it's June, so whenever we do see sunshine and dry conditions, um, regardless of really the direction of the air mass, it's going to get towards sort of the low 20s. Um, and you can have a look at those upper air temperatures um, for middle of next week. And you see, yeah, it's not amazing. Most likely in the north, it would probably be mid to high teens, but I wouldn't be surprised further southwards to see sort of 20 degrees or so. A little bit nippy, but nothing too bad. Beyond that, though, high pressure does start to build back in for the end of the month. And yes, it's not amazingly high pressure, um, but 
it's generally dry, generally high pressure around, and the air mass is coming in from a south to easterly direction, not incredibly hot by any means, um, under high pressure, with the upper air temperatures in around that sort of 5 to 10 degrees at 850 HPA. Wouldn't be surprised if you might widespread temperatures in around that 20 degree mark, with some areas maybe getting up towards the low to mid 20s, maybe 25 degrees as possible. So much more pleasant weather, warm enough to enjoy the outside, warm enough to still get out and do stuff it's not going to be amazingly dry there will be rain around but it's not a washout by any means much more uh, i think summery weather that people uh, would more likely enjoy than this sort of oppressive heat we could be seeing over the next couple of days so if we do finish the video by just have a look at the ensembles if we start on the gfs ensembles you can see this incredibly hot air mass moving in over the next couple of days we're warm at the moment around five degrees above average and that's why we're seeing mid to high 20s today but it's incredibly hot 15 degrees above average come the end of this working week on friday it does drop off but you can see some ensemble members hold on to it for longer than others some drop off very quickly into saturday others drop off much slower and you can see there are some big precipitation spikes there are some smaller ones uh, uh, and as I said, some of the, these models don't quite have really have a clue exactly how it's going to play out. Beyond that, though, we do remain in generally a warm air mass into next week. So next week does look like the air masses will be above average, pretty decent. Before, as we head into the last week of June and start of July, temperatures around or slightly below average. There is a lot of spread, though, so I can't say anything with too much certainty. But you can see the operational run there is well below average, um, and that's that normally flow. Again, it won't be cold. Remember, it is June, I must stress that yes it's below average but below average for, for areas in the north is like 15 degrees areas in the south is probably 18 to 20 degrees so it's not amazingly cold but it won't be anywhere quite uh, near as warm as now you don't need a jumper out there on some of the days and there will be showers around as well you can see plenty of smaller spikes so nothing crazy in terms of precipitation but a lot of showers around but as i said there's a lot of uncertainty so we can't call it at this stage but it does look like maybe from around the 20th to 30th of june a northerly flow looking like a, a, quite a big scenario at this stage. And if we finish up by having a look at the ECMWF ensembles, looking at the midnight run, again, very hot over the next couple of days, and then returning to around slightly above, slightly above average, not quite as much of bias towards a northerly wind for the last week of June, but there is a lot of spread there. Around the 19th of June or into the weekend, Quite a few big precipitation spikes there, but you can see big spread around a 12 hour to 12 to 24 hour spread in terms of how quickly we lose this hot air mass. And that will decide what the temperatures are on Saturday, um, whether we do get 30 degrees once again in the southeast or whether we only get 20 degrees. So big, big temperature uh, changes could be seen there. But in the longer term, there's a lot of spread. So you can't say anything too much uh, with too much certainty because, of course, we haven't really got the Saturday or Sunday sorted out. So it's highly unlikely the models will have, uh, have any consistency beyond that. And if we do finally just have a look at the two meter temperatures, you can see into uh, Friday, 30 degrees looking likely for London. Again, these are low resolution on some members, so it's going to be a good few degrees warmer than this. 35, 36 degrees as possible in the peak areas and widely sort of 31 to 33, I think, is the most likely temperature for most people. It's going to be that sort of 31 to 33 degree range. But you can see Saturday. Big uncertainty, some on some members back towards 31, 32 degree range, could be threatening mid 30s once again, but others much cooler in around the 20 degree mark, uh, and the average is around 26 degrees. So a lot of spread for Saturday, and I don't think it's really going to be resolved at least for another day or two, perhaps only really towards Thursday, Friday time when we know exactly how it does break down. And even then, we could it could be a now car situation where we don't really know exactly what those temperatures will be until those temperatures uh, sort of peak in around 3, 4 p.m. on Saturday. Beyond that, though, it does look like temperatures will return to around that 20 degree mark, maybe a couple of degrees are, are above or below. So turning much more towards average. So turning very hot over the next couple of days. So please do, as I said, take the necessary precautions, stay hydrated, stay out of the sun, if you're, especially if you're fair skinned. Uh, between 10 and 4 p.m. Uh, if you're out in the sun for more than 20 minutes, sun cream, hat, all this sort of stuff, just to stay protected, because we are not only getting very hot weather, but we are in the peak UV levels of the year. So it, this is the strongest, really, the sun does get. So uh, pretty much everyone can get sunburn out there. 
it can be uh, get very severe for some people. So stay hydrated and stay protected as well. And of course, look out for vulnerable people as well, because heat stroke, things like that can come on very, very quickly. So please do stay safe out there. Can't emphasize how dangerous we can, uh, how dangerous conditions can be when it does get this hot, this sudden, because people who don't check on the forecast that much, don't uh, know exactly how it's going to play out, can get hit very sudden by these sort of conditions so please do take care and of course there could be some heavy rain and thundery weather into the weekend but i won't oh, i don't put too much emphasis on that yet um, as uh, we don't really have the details particularly fine-tuned so anyway thanks for watching hope you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'll see you again for another video soon